We've been in New Zealand now for about a month, so we really needed to get out and show off some of the country. Lucky for us, some friends of friends run a company called Yachtshare out of Auckland. Their business is quite a cool idea. It's for people who want to enjoy boating, but without the hassle and cost of actually owning the boat. So they've got a fleet of boats that you can grab on a yearly membership. It's almost like a subscription yachting model, and they offered to take us out and see what sailing life was all about. We picked a day that we knew the sun would be shining and we went and met up with Marcus, the general manager, and planned an epic day out on the water. We've just jumped onto the boat and I want to quickly show you guys around. There are three cabins in here, which you wouldn't, we didn't really expect when we first jumped on. It is, it's got a lot more Even space. from the outside you don't expect yeah. it to be this big down here. So in here is the kitchen or the galley. Yeah. And it's got Every, it's, got, it's fully equipped. And then there's a bedroom to the left here, and then a bedroom behind Danger. Port side? Starboard? Yep. <laughs> I don't know anything about boats, but Dane knows. Uh, and then you've got a nice big open sort of like living and dining area. I love how like light and bright it is. Loads of light coming in from up the top. And then I believe this is called the VIP cabin. <laughs> is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, he's a And then huge, huge room. And there are also two bathrooms on board. We've just had a briefing on how the toilets work, which is very interesting. Which way do you go? Let me try it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. Got... Yeah. There's lots of space as well. Oh yeah, I could sleep there <laughs> for a few days. Grab a membership. Weeks. Yeah. Two minutes in and she's at the helm already. <laughs> Don't mess around <laughs> Absolute expert. <laughs> How can you even see over this? Just by feel. <laughs> yeah. Go. What you can do if you want to be if you want to be really chilled is go sit on, on the outside there on the, on the white thing and then you can look oh. at that one. See down the side. Oh so chill. Yeah, okay. that's, that's the I don't think I'm quite there yet. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good. Oh, that should be good. Oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> so things have definitely been very seamless and easy so far. Marcus has gave us a little bit of a, a safety briefing so at least we know where the, uh, the life jackets are and what to do in an emergency. And within probably, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes we helped get off the dock, which we couldn't film, we can't do both at the same time. And we've just come out into, basically into the middle of the Auckland Harbour. Auckland Harbour Bridge is behind us here. Stacey's at the helm already. She's killing it. And we're just heading out into the channel. We're going to put up the main sail and start to uh, get on our way. It's so nice being back out on the water. And we've picked the absolute perfect day for it. The last few have been a little bit rainy. The weather's definitely been up and down. But we've actually got some wind, which is helpful, of course, for sailing. Uh, and the sun is completely out. That's it, the sails are up, both sails. The engine is completely shut off now. I'm having a bit of a turn at, turn at the helm. And basically we're just, gonna, we're just gonna be cruising. So we're just purely by the wind now, just a little bit of rocking and we're heading out around a bit of a headland out Rangitoto Island here, which is actually a volcano in the middle of Auckland. And this is, this is sailing, this is so <laughs> chill. It's just something that's so stress-free other than when there's boats going on and lines to pull and sails to go up. But once that stuff's done, this is where like the magic happens for sure. So somewhere back there is Auckland City, somewhere in the distance. We're a couple of hours in now. This is to our left here. This is Waiheke Island. If you're a New Zealander, you definitely know about this. If not, this is like the, uh, the main island off Auckland that there's a bunch of amazing properties and wineries 
here. I don't know if you can really pick them up on camera, but it's a really beautiful island. Loads of little bays, loads of little beach spots. This is ferries that run regularly, but um, this is pretty much the place if you want to eat or drink, it's the spot to come and hang out. So we started over this side and then we sailed through here between these two islands and up and around. This is Waiheke Island. We are currently, I think, we've gone past here, around here. No, I think we're up here. Here maybe at the Are moment. We? I yeah. thought we we're about to go through here though. Uh, maybe we have gone round. Yeah. Yeah, I think what we we think we've gone round and we're about to cross through this part here. And apparently this is like a really beautiful part of the island. So most of the tourist stuff that we've been to in the past is all around this Oniroa, Oniroa Bay and Onitangi are the main ones that people go to. So maybe every now and then over this side, but it's very rare. Like unless you're on a boat, you've got to get right the way up and around. It's not common. <laughs> there is a little bit of uh, shifting though because now that we've come around the headland we've got a little bit more of uh, a little bit more swell so we're sort of listing a little bit more or what do you call it? We're on a lean. On a lean. Is the technical term. Sure. Time is absolutely... North shore resting. North shore resting. Oh. North shore resting. Where's your mate? Turn that down briefly. <laughs> um, time has gone so quickly you sort of forget about how relaxing the whole thing is that we've been in the sun for so long I'm feeling, very feeling very a little camera. bit red already but it, we've been chatting to Marcus around like the the costs he's saying that the membership option once you've selected a boat you get access to a calendar and all sorts of stuff and this is just one of the fleet that we mentioned at the start and um, apparently if, if you were to come to New Zealand or if you're from New Zealand whatever you wanted to travel around the North Island or the upper North Auckland on a boat You'd normally be able to charter one for about 10 days, but with these guys you end up getting about 21 days worth of usage that you can space out. So that's the sort of like that's the sort of clientele that they get. It just seems like such an awesome way to do it if you're um, if you're wanting to take the boat out. And we could I could fully see us doing something yeah. like this. The three cabins, you could and there's heaps of space, like there's heaps of space forward, you've got the aft deck where we've been hanging out, three cabins and the lounge. I feel like you could be here and not um, like live on top of each other. Yeah, because that would be the trouble, with, especially if you travel with family members, you can sometimes be a bit like, <laughs> a bit tight and everything. So I can probably see us doing something like this and having the space to, to make it happen. I feel like I'm on a whole different level down here. Almost like I'm gonna slide. In fact, it's quite comfortable because it sort of forces you back into position, whereas Stace and Marcus are on a different level. <laughs> So we've just pulled into a, a little bay. It's supposed to be a little bit less wind, but somehow we're seeing two or three times the, the wind levels of what we were supposed to be seeing, according to the, uh, the weather apps anyway. It's so beautiful here. Isn't this just a reminder? It is, it's a good reminder because we often are so excited to like go to the next destination and everything, but you have to appreciate your own backyard. Then when you see it from a, a different perspective like this, like from the water, it, it reminds you. Definitely, just we're just looking out onto blue cliffs, there's these, uh, sorry. <laughs> blue, he's blue, colour blind. Blue, blue skies, these uh, just green rolling hills right the way around. And apparently in this bay there's a, there's a beach here and this was, gets, is a really popular spot because there's a vineyard just in here. So but all of these boats come in, there's only about four or five at the moment, but can just come in and fill all of the space and somewhere out there there's a vineyard that you can go to so people come in, anchor off here, jump on the tender, head on in. Have a, have a few wines. Have a few wines. person that should be talking about this because I'm definitely not a cheese connoisseur but I can see we've got th three different types of cheeses is that right we got that right there's three or four there three or four got a bit of camembert a bit of uh, just maybe some tasty some stuffed uh, some stuffed peppers some olives some crackers 
bit of butter, because that goes with absolutely everything, and some little lentil chips. Just gonna hang out. We probably don't have enough time to shoot in and go to the uh, go to the winery, which we're obviously very tempted to do. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no noise, other than the wind, which is and also the crunch of crackers. Yeah, and the Jeez. crunch of crackers every now and then. It's uh, we left at ten o'clock this morning. Oh, it's so windy. <laughs> We left at 10 o'clock this morning and now it's uh, 5 o'clock, so the day has gone very fast. It shows just how much time you really have to yourself and like how quickly that seems to pass by when there's always something to look at or something to do or a line to pull or a sail to get up, something to enjoy. So we're just making our way back now. We're going to head back around the other side of Waiheke Island, which is the main one that we were floating around. Head back around and head through the strait back into Auckland Harbour. So we left the marina at 10 a.m. this morning and it's now 9 p.m. at night <laughs> and um, we certainly didn't expect to have such a long day out on the water but we were all just having so much fun Way and too much time fun. flew by, good chats, good food, chilling but yeah we'll just say goodbye to Marcus and he's an absolute legend as well yeah he's awesome so he's actually the general manager of Yachtshire and so we got all the inside scoop about the memberships and what their whole business model is about as well as just like the absolute ultimate taster of what life with a boat and life with I suppose like a membership actually with these guys would be like if we were to have I think it's 20, 21 days or 35 days of the two different memberships I want that they it. offer. That would be <laughs> so epic. Like it was actually sad to, to have to leave that point when we were at anchor. Yeah. We could have very easily just like sat down, had some food, had some dinner, had some wine, hung out there hung for out. a long time. It is boat life is a good life. Every single time we go on uh, like a cruise or a boat like this, yeah. we're always like, this is the life. We've got to get into this more. <laughs> but for now, we actually need to go have some dinner <laughs> and probably go and put some after sun on my forehead. Yeah, that red there, love. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. Catch in the comments. Bye. Bye.